Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is getting treated by the market and hopefully everybody's been paying attention uh, to what the market has been doing technically. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but first, I want to welcome all new, uh, the all new viewers who are joining us for the first time today. Thank you very much for spending uh, 15 minutes of your evening. We really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, share, uh, all that good stuff that could keep you uh, in the know and in the loop uh, when an update is uh is recorded right is recorded and usually we do these uh monday through uh wednesday or sometimes monday through thursday and on the weekend so let's talk about the market right so if you've been watching this broadcast just in the last week right let's just say the week uh you know how important it is and we would be following along uh how important that 20-day moving average was on the queues and you know once you know you got rising support starts to get confirmed and it starts building below rising support Usually what's going to happen is the market is going to come in that direction. That's exactly what's been happening. Uh, lower highs, higher, lower lows, lower highs begin stuffed into every intermediate short-term supply zone, the five, the 10-day moving average. Uh, yesterday, we had that big, big pivot uh, below that 371.50 that got us down to the lower Bollinger Band. And the question was going into today's session was, well, is the market going to test the 50-day moving average? Um, you know, without going into a big deeper dive into the significance of the 50-day moving average if you've been watching uh this broadcast and following along even even going back to 2022 it's a very basic simple uh verse of technical analysis anything above the 50-day moving average is super bullish anything below the 50-day moving average is super bearish and again all you need to do is go to uh 2022 we've been talking about this every single video uh, and we'll talk about it more on, on the weekend update, uh, on the weekend update, depending on uh, what happens tomorrow in the CPI. We'll get to that in a second. But here is where we we talked about yesterday that no, invest, no investor wants to have a conversation or at least knowingly have a conversation uh, of what happens next if we confirm the 50-day. As you can see here, uh, the sell-off continues. Uh, we've been uh, short the market now for the last four or five days, um, you know, four or five days, basically every single day, pivot after pivot. And congratulations. I know, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to trading, but you can see that, you know, we don't care which way the market goes. That's the most important part as traders. Um, there's a big difference between somebody who buys stocks in a bull market, uh, versus a trader who trades on both sides of the market, uh, and has no favorites, plays no uh, plays no hero, you know, one day at a time and takes the data and trades off that data. And that's exactly what we've been doing. And now we close on the 50 day moving average, right? And I can't stress the importance of how important tomorrow's session is. Okay. Um, if there was no CPI, uh, if there was no CPI coming out tomorrow, uh, this would be a 200 star overnight short. It's just this, you know, it's just this, this is the first time uh, we closed on the 50-day moving average. And if this thing confirms, uh, to, if tomorrow confirms today's price action, nothing good is going to happen if you're a long stop, right? That's the, you know, that's the on the surface type of situation. The problem is uh, on the surface type situation, it's not on the surface. Tomorrow we have a huge number. We have more uh, inflation reading coming in uh, for, you know, for tomorrow. It's going to be at 830. And that is going to dictate what the market's going to do if the the market likes the you know inflation reading then yeah you know the market will rally but if the market does not like it and the market keeps on negating uh all the inflation readings all the data especially in the last few weeks we saw the jobs number so forth and so on and they do confirm the 50-day moving average so the last thing you're going to want to do is sit around without a game plan hoping to god the market recovers and maybe it does maybe it doesn't but in the case of Tesla, and we've been, you know, Tesla's been great, right? The same thing as Tesla's we talk about now on the queues. As soon as Tesla lost the 50-day 50 50 day moving average, look what happens, right? Look what happens. The 50-day uh, was at 50. You know, now we're having this conversation at 42, right? And this is, and this has been, again, we've been talking about these levels 
nonstop. It's not something that, you know, is hindsight. We, we've been talking about this every single night to prepare traders and prepare investors to what happens next, right? That's the most important part is gathering information and trading on that information versus, well, I hope it's going to rebound tomorrow. I hope it's going to, don't worry, I'm going to be okay in a year from now. We're not talking about a year. You know, maybe Tesla goes to 500, uh, you know, in the near future, but it's not going to go to 500 tomorrow. And the most important part is getting ready, getting your mind right, getting your ability to uh, trade the market based on tomorrow, not two weeks from now, not three months from now, not four years from now, based on tomorrow. And it's so important to understand the power of supply and demand. And this is exactly what we uh, we go through in nauseam uh, in the live webinar. We've been talking about this for years. And again, we want to thank you, everybody, for all your support. You, you see the way we navigate every single day, one day at a time, based on structure, based on organic order flow, based on option flow that's going to complement uh, what's going on in the daily market structure. And if the most important part is what happens tomorrow. Right. If we close below the 50 day moving average tomorrow, right, it's not going to be a good thing. I'm sorry. I don't want to sugarcoat it. You know, if, you know, I, I, lo I wish I could sugarcoat it um, and, and then you kind of, um, you know, make everything, you know, ch trying to speak from both sides of my mouth. You guys know me. I'm a straight shooter. Uh, technical analysis is everything. My opinion doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't count. I'm not a smart guy. I've just been doing it nearly a quarter of a century next year. Uh, and I've seen this movie so many times before. And again, all you need to do is just go back, right? Just go back to what happens when you lose the 50 day, right? Here's the last time we lost the 50 day. What happened was three weeks worth of selling. You know, here's another scenario here going back to uh, August, right? We lost the 50 day moving average. We, we, we guys, we lost 31% on the queues when we lost the 50 day moving average in 2022. So it's not the point of I'm trying to fear monger, this, that, the other thing. Again, I love a bull market. I would prefer a bull market. I, I just, it's just so much easier to trade. But the point is we don't need a bull market. You know, we don't need a perfect market. We need market structure. We need organic, uh, organic order flow and the, and the ability to navigate liquidity. That's it. And it's a very, very important level tomorrow. Uh, again, like I said, I can't stress this enough. Uh, if the bulls hold on and we rally tomorrow, that's great, right? That'd be great. Uh, if we start reclaiming back, especially the last two days of data above uh, 373 would be great on the queues. But if you've been following along, you saw the importance of the 20 day moving average when it lost it. You now you see, you know, now you see the significance or potential significance of the 50 day moving average going into tomorrow's session. And again, not to over, you know, dramatize things, but yeah, tomorrow is a pretty big day. It's sink or swim for the bulls. And if we do close below uh, the 50 day moving average, uh, you're going to see a completely different narrative. Uh, going into Friday session. So that's it, right? That's it as far as a technical uh, point of view from the queues. Uh, spies are very, very close, right? We talked about this level yesterday. Uh, very, very close. Spies start losing this 45 level, guys. I'm, I'm telling you guys, if we start losing this 445 level where it stopped twice tomorrow, we're going down to roughly uh, you know 441, which is the 50-day moving average. So you know the, the queues could potentially pull the spies, but again, it's all... Uh, contingent upon a good or bad inflation report, we don't know. Uh, we are just uh, we are just uh, prepared on both sides of the market. Like I say every single day, we try to give you guys uh, as many uh, as many heads up uh, on the previous night's video uh, as I possibly can. You know, we talked about in the video, right? You saw what Nvidia did today. We talked about Tesla. We see what Tesla's doing today. We Meta and all that stuff in here. So I'm trying to to share as much information as possible. But if you'd like to get everything, if you'd like to, to learn with us, if you'd like to trade with us, you'd like to, you know, develop your, you know, develop your infrastructure and develop your uh, foundation, that's what the live webinar is for. And that's, you know, I speak to six hours a day. Um, it's all real time uh, and everybody knows exactly, exactly what's going on. And the most important part is you're in control of your trading. The market's not in control of you. So if you are curious about the webinar. Again, there's a link below. Just try it out for 30 days. Worst case scenario, you say it's not for you and it's not. I I'm telling you right now, I don't think pivots are for everybody. If you have a $500 account, it's not for you, right? How are you going to trade Tesla with a $500 account? But if you are, if you've been trading for a while and you're just missing that one little thing, you know, take a ride. You have 30 days in the webinar. See if it's right for you. If it's not, hey, God bless. You can still enjoy the updates. If it is, you'll start seeing the market in a different point of view. So let's talk about the tape here. Um, Really good session, right? Really, really good session. Uh, everything here we talked about, majority of things we talked about yesterday, we start out with NVIDIA. Remember we were talking about NVIDIA yesterday and lost the bottom of the range. I think Kyler also posted one of those YouTube shorts 
that we talked about from last night. We were watching it. Again, they were coming for the 435, the 430 puts. We saw some 420 puts. And NVIDIA got crushed today. Absolutely got crushed. It lost this whole range here. Uh, went down. You, know, you can see, I mean, it got murdered. Went all the way down to 21. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal move. Uh, again, it all depends what happens tomorrow uh, with uh, for foreseeable future. Not only with, with NVIDIA, with everything else. Here was Tesla. Again, we've been trading this thing pretty much every single day to the downside. Uh, 245, it builds below. I can see Monday's low. Yeah, it, it's, it closed at the lows here, man. It closed at the lows. It took out the first pivot we had was below the 450. Then today confirmed the 45. On the close, it confirmed the 42. And now it's slightly ticking down uh, after hours. So again, if it's a bad number, I, I do believe ultimately uh, Tesla could see. That again, if there we is a close below the 50-day the, the moving average, eventually uh, it should see potential Tesla you know, intermediate, intermediate 437. Uh, but uh, ultimately it's 230 if the bulls give up. Uh, the 50-day moving average. So really good job there. Uh, Rivian, we talked about last night. Remember we were talking about it last night? I was watching it for that uh, 2360. It gave up its earnings. Beautiful trade here. 2360 held twice. If it builds below, it can flush. Here was uh, Rivian. Right? Here was Rivian. We talked about this level here last night's video. Uh, 2360 got mangled. So really good move there. Uh, Roblox, I missed it, which kind of sucks that I missed because 3360 was the pre-market low. Uh, if it builds below, can flush. Yeah, I would say so. Roblox got just just destroyed. It, it, I just missed the trade. Um, There's something I could do sometimes. Um, RBLX. So it took out the 3360 and just got just just destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. If you guys got a great job, I missed it. Um, let's see what else. Meta was good. Uh, Meta was good. 310 held four times daily. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, here was Meta. You know, lost the 310 trade all the way down to 302 and change. Uh, and Airbnb, I still like. It did not not uh, confirm for uh, tomorrow. So that's it, guys. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to uh, look at the market very aggressively. Sometimes you have to look at the market from a very, uh, very devil's advocate point of view. It all boils down to, uh, it all boils down to the CPI. If it's a good, if, if it's a number that the market embraces, we're going to route, right? And, it, and it's a very brainless thing to say, but if it doesn't and we confirm the 50-day, that is where my value is. My value is if we confirm the 50-day moving average, uh, there's a potential massive, massive opportunity for tomorrow. And again, especially Tesla. If Tesla uh, starts losing today's range, we could see a really, really exaggerated move uh, into the 30s and potentially to the 230 uh, measured potential if the market does give up the 50-day. Guys, God bless. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, there is no video. It's my normal uh, Thursday night off. So if you are planning to join us tomorrow in the webinar, come aboard. Uh, morning strategy starts up roughly around uh, 9, 9 o'clock Eastern time. And with God's help, I will see you all there. Take care.